welcome to one-fifth of the world's fresh water on Lake Michigan, the second biggest of the Great Lakes. So come on down and join me in the... <laughs> no. No. Everybody's afraid of this? This is nothing! Twenty years ago, this beach down here was absolutely pristine. A nearby farm was proposing to expand from around a thousand animals to nine thousand animals within a mile and a half of Lake Michigan. I can smell it. It's rare when you drive by and you don't. The citizens here were already experiencing some problems with odor and we were experiencing some problems with fish kills. It seemed like when that farm began to expand it was within a few years that we saw those problems start to happen. Point Creek probably four miles from Lake Michigan. Buried in the water is a device that's about the size of a cigar. Yeah. It's got a little microcomputer in it and a battery. And it measures the pressure of the water. And from that we can calculate how much water is going through this area. We're looking at the bottom of the lake now. This is Those are all dead um, zebra mussels that have been starting to literally clutter the lake bottom. Now is that green designed from the camera to pick up certain types of light or is that actually That's green? That's pretty much the color that it is, that the water is. I invited all three supervisors from all 18 townships. There's nobody here. But our DNR in its current operating mode is a very conflicted organization. It has become far too bureaucratic and far too process driven instead of result driven. This is where they put the fish in at. That's where they put the fish in? You can't count all the E. coli in there. I'm going to guess it's in the, it's in the thousands. What do you do? You have common air coming out of your tap. If the DNR won't help you or nobody will help you, who else do you call? If they had Clodophora on their beaches in Sturgeon Bay and Egg Harbor and Bailey's Harbor like you have here, it, it would be a public uproar. The only thing that it seems at this point that we can control is the amount of uh, phosphorus. It's 11,000 miles of coastline here on the Great Lakes, which makes up more coastline than the east and west coast of the U.S. combined. Uh, I'd like to think I inspire it younger people to get more active in the outdoors and become aware because I mean if they become involved they care more and, you know they take care of the environment better they're... we got to band together as many of these groups as we can and go to Madison if we got to and stand on the front steps of the Capitol if we have to and say look this problem needs to be addressed <laughs>